What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we broke down and bought something off of TikTok, one of the viral TikTok tools that is almost on every video and it is the Fantic S1 Pro electric screwdriver. Let's get into it. So if you're like me, your TikTok, your Instagram, your Facebook, every other video is somebody trying to sell something. But this one really caught my eye um, by Fantic. It has great reviews. This is an electric screwdriver that you would use in situations where like maybe an impact or something is too much. Maybe you're a little too lazy to use a hand tool. Um, but it was cheap enough at $55. That's how much I got it for. Um, I think that I've seen it cheaper. I've seen it more expensive. Just kind of depends on how popular it is at the time. Um, this is the pro model. They have like a normal one. They have a pro model. They also have a mini electric screwdriver with a lot more bits. Um, speaking of bits, this one comes with 16. Um, it's all conveniently packaged in a case. Um, I have not unboxed this yet. So let's do that now. Let's get this thing out of the box and take a look at it for the first time. So right off the bat, um, the first thing you see when you take it out of the box, there's really not much in the box other than just the tube. But the first thing you see is this tube. Um, it's actually a metal tube. It's very heavy. You can almost use this as weightlifting. Um, it has a nice branded logo, of course, on the front. It's a very nice case, and in case you forget what you bought, it's got it, the next S1 Pro right here. Let's look inside and see what we got. So it comes with this lid like this. It looks like the screwdriver is neatly tucked inside of it. And this is the screwdriver. So not a lot of buttons and stuff going on here. Branded logo, of course. Has a USB charging port on the bottom. I think most everybody has tons of these cords in their house these days. That's pretty much the screwdriver. Back to the box. So what also comes with this is an inside part. There you go. So let's get a good view of it coming out here. And this is what all your bits are going to come into. So you see you got plenty of flatheads, Phillips. Looks like you got some square bits, some hex bits. That's the selling point of this case is it comes with bits and it's all neatly packaged. The reason I was struggling a little bit to get it out is if you notice at the bottom of the case that has all the bits and stuff is there's actually a couple of magnets. Um, inside of the canister is actually some magnets yourself. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it here. So that's what sticks. That's what keeps this guy in place. Inside of the bit case itself, if you look in here, See if I can get a good angle of it. Is a little metal rod, and that's what the end of the screwdriver goes into. Kind of keeps it in there. So once again, that's magnetized as well. More on the magnetizing of the case. So I just noticed that if you pull one of the bits off, see here, if you put it back on the case, it's magnetized. So it keeps all your bits um, nice and neat and sticking to the shelf. That's why lifting it like this, it won't, none of the bits are falling out because the whole case is magnetized. So on the outside, you'll notice there's some markings here. Um, it's got off, which is the position it's in now. So if you press the buttons, it does nothing. Um, but if you move it here, it's the power. So you different power levels. One, two, three, it being the most powerful torque setting. When you have it in the off position, of course, it won't do anything, but there is a little light on the end. So when you're trying to screw something down, it gives you a little bit of light so you can see what you're doing. So let's put a bit on it. I've taken the Phillips off here, put it in there. So basically you get what you're doing. You, you choose your torque setting. We'll put it on the middle one. And then to reverse it, you'll notice there's arrows. So backwards and forwards or clockwise counterclockwise depending on how you look at it now it says that this guy has a 2000 milliamp hour battery in it at 3.7 volts um, and it takes an input charge of 5 volts or 1 amps so it's a little bit 
slow charging, but at 2000 milliamps, um, I would suspect it has plenty of battery life for small projects. Um, you might find yourself recharging this if you have a larger project, but pretty decent battery size for a screwdriver this size. As you can see with my hand right here, it's it's pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy dude, you know, pretty size of a large screwdriver. So it's, it's not a small guy, but I guess it's gotta be that way to house that battery. So to put the case back in, it's really easy. You just slide it back in there, let the magnet take hold. And let's do some real, real testing. But first I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up all the way and we'll take it outside and do some real world testing. Um, we're a tribal channel, so we're probably gonna be using this in the RV. Um, I do have a pellet grill that I need to put the cover back on. I was having to repair the auger in it. So I'll test it out on that first and we'll test some other things to test this guy out on and see if it's any good. Stay tuned. All right, so we're outside now at my pellet grill at our home base. And I've got to put this panel back on like so. And it also comes with these fill-up head screws that I gotta put in. So let's see how it does. I'll get one started here. Got my Phillips loaded, as you can see. I got it on the two setting here. Ooh, pretty torquey. Here's the Phillips. So now as you can see, I've knocked it down to the one setting, which is the weakest one. We'll see how that feels. Wow, still plenty powerful. As you can see, this Phillips head screw was stripped a little bit, but still plenty of torque to get it in there. Well that task seemed to be really nothing for the Fantic. It seemed like pretty easy peasy. Let's see if we can find something else to test it on. Another test is going to be something like tightening a screw into a piece of wood. I don't know if it's going to be strong enough for this. As you can see, I basically just mashed it in there a little bit to get it started because I don't, you know, I only got two hands. So let's see if this little guy is strong enough. I'm going to put it on torque two and see if this is strong enough. Oh yeah, plenty strong enough. That's pretty impressive and that was only on the second torque setting. It wasn't even on the most powerful torque setting. Next we're going to try a little bit bigger screw. We have our flat or our square bit on there. I'm going to keep it on torque setting two and we're going to see if this is powerful enough. This screw should be a little bit harder. Yeah, ease. No problem. <laughs> Left a bit in there. No problem at all. How impressive is that? All right, so guys, so we have unboxed this thing. I've given you the price, um, some of the stats on it. We've tested a little bit. So what do I think of this thing? Well, positive is it's a very neatly compacted product um, in this container, the way they've, they've stacked it, made it real nice and neat. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is that once you take the top off, if you press it here, everything kind of pops out so you can see this guy pops out this little center part pops out and then when you're ready to put it up you just push it back in um, what would be really neat is if they made this case to where the case had a battery as well um, and that would charge up the screwdriver man that would be really neat of course that would probably up the price um, and this container would have to be bigger because right now it's basically completely encompassed and um, the actual screwdriver and all the bits and stuff um, So maybe that's why they chose not to do that one neat thing is is you can take this cap And you can put it on the bottom side that way only the charging port is exposed So when you're charging it, so when you're charging it like so let's plug it in You can kind of see the status you see how it's blinking that means that it's charging and then when it's done This ring will go solid and you know that you're done charging So that's not so bad um, maybe that's why they also chose not to have a case because you can kind of just prop this up um, somewhere like this, plug it in and forget about it until you need it again. The ergonomics of the actual screwdriver itself, you know how you hold it. Um, it's not tiring, it's a good size. Um, I do like that. 
Um, something else they could have done as well. Um, so, you know, the, the screwdriver is great. The form factor is great. I think they made a good choice on battery size uh, for the actual size of the product. Um, this part, once you get it out, you know, it looks like there's a lot of bits. You know, 16 sounds like a lot, but really it's not a lot of bits. Um, you're kind of limited on your choices here. You, yes, you do have the main ones, Phillip head, star, um, flathead, of course, um, and some hex bits, um, but you're kind of limited here. So unlike their smaller products where they have just tons and tons of bits, you're kind of limited. 16 really isn't um, that much. But other than that, man, the form factor of this thing is great. The way it all goes together is great. Um, it seems like the battery life is going to be pretty good. It's got way more torque than what I was expecting it to have. As you can see, I wasn't expecting it to be able to screw screws into a wall, um, tighten things as easy as it was, and I wasn't even using the high torque setting. So all in all, I don't think that this is a like TikTok I gotcha because I'm sure there's a lot of you know crappy Chinese products and stuff on there. Is it worth is it worth the fifty five dollars that I spent for it? Um, I think so. If you look up like a Makita or Dewalt or even like a Roby ones like that, um, the cheapest ones are going to be about that price. Um, the high dollar brand ones are going to be a lot more. So I think that the price of this is perfectly set, honestly. And if you just keep watching it, the prices are going to fluctuate quite a bit um, and you can most definitely get it a good deal. Um, I think this one actually might be pretty good. And for us in the RV and travel and just doing small things around um, the house and also when we're out traveling, I think this is going to work fantastically. So um, I will put a couple of links below to Amazon because um, Fantic is now has a presence on Amazon um, and give you a link there to where you can buy it. But I hope you enjoyed this review, guys, and we will see you next week on the next video. Bye.